Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at the service level agreement concepts, abbreviated as SLA in Microsoft 365. So Microsoft 365 services guarantees level of service for your organization in a detailed legal agreement referred to as a service level agreement. Microsoft details its commitment to provide and maintain agreed service levels for M365 services through its Microsoft Online Services Agreement. Your organization can also take advantage of the service level agreement with your cloud service provider Note that the guarantees of service provided for Microsoft 365 services will vary between cloud service providers. So Microsoft's online service level agreement introduces several concepts. The first one is incident, and this is a set of events or single event that results in downtime. The second one is uptime. This is the total time your services are functional. The next one is downtime, and the definition of downtime depends on the relevant service. For example, with Microsoft Teams, any period of time where users are unable to initiate online meetings, see present statuses, or unable to instant messages considered downtime, your downtime reduces the total time your services are functional. Then we have claim. So a claim raises information about an incident and your organization is responsible for submitting a claim on an incident. The next concept is an important one called service credit. And so service credits are submitted by the organization's admin. If the claim is successfully approved by Microsoft, your organization will receive service credits. The service credit will be the percentage of the total monthly fees your organization paid for the month where you experience downtime. Then we have service level, and this is the performance metric set forth in the SLA that Microsoft agrees to meet in the delivery of the services. And the last concept is uptime agreement. And the uptime agreement is defined by the monthly uptime percentage which we'll explain a bit more in the next slide. So downtime is any period of time when Office applications are put into reduced functionality mode due to an issue with Office 365 activation. And the monthly uptime percentage is typically calculated using the following formula, but this may not apply to every service. So user minutes minus downtime divided by user minutes times 100. Where downtime is measured in user minutes, that is, for each month, downtime is the sum of the length of each incident that occurs during that month multiplied by the number of users impacted by that incident. The percentage of service credit your organization can receive is linked to your monthly uptime percentage. For example, if downtime has resulted in a monthly uptime percentage lower than 95%, your organization could receive a 100% percent service credit. And the table here describes the monthly uptime percentage and corresponding service credit. So if the monthly uptime percentage is less than 99.9%, .9%, you could get 25% service credit. If the monthly uptime percentage is less than 99%, you could get 50% service credit. And if it's less than 95%, you could get 100% service credit. So your organization should always review all service level agreements and ask questions, including the following list. If you're using a cloud service provider, how does it determine service levels and whether they're achieved or not? Who is responsible for reports? How can your organization access reports? Are there any exceptions in the agreement? What does the agreement say about both unexpected and scheduled maintenance? What does the agreement say about what happens if your infrastructure goes down because of an attack? What about natural disasters and other situations outside of your control? Does the agreement cover non-Microsoft service or system failures? What are the limits to the cloud service provider's liability in the agreement? So that's the overview of SLA.